Good morning. Good morning, good morning, good morning. From a very, very wet and windy uh, Lincolnshire today. Um, I have come out in flip-flops, well, like sandals, so my feet are absolutely drenched. Um, but before I drive, I've just um, dropped a fin and then I had to go to the opticians. But before I drive, I just want to talk to you about a post that I shared this morning. Um, and when when that comes up on my memories i was like wow it's like it's so good to reflect but it's just such an important message so if you haven't seen the post that i'm talking about um i shared it earlier and it's about just after i'd earned my first incentive trip um obviously we only had ella and harry at the time i was still working full-time alongside building my sensi business well, i was actually working full-time and waitressing and building my sensi business um and it's really easy to get wrapped up well actually i actually don't think i do do this but it would be easy to get wrapped up in the day-to-day -day of where we are now and all of us i mean and it's and it's so important to remember like where it all started and where anything can start for any of you like nobody has any advantage nobody has a step up nobody um everybody has all the same tools when they start what's going to be definitive in the outcome is what you choose to do with those tools. So yes, now I've got a lovely Sensi office at home, right? I do. And I love it, but I'll be totally honest. And I said this to Dan this morning, I've got to get in there at some point today and have a bit of a tidy up because it's, it's a working office and there's boxes and, oh, just hit my hand. And I've been making samples and it is a little bit messy and a little bit cluttered in there today. So I do need to go in and tidy it up. But that office is not what built my business. In this post this morning, I referenced, I didn't even own a laptop when we started Sensi. When we started Sensi, I, we certainly, we didn't really have the money for me to start Sensi, but I had a party and I used my um, host rewards towards it. Um, I didn't even own a laptop. I didn't buy any extra warmers. I didn't buy any extra wax. I didn't buy any extra anything because I couldn't afford it, okay? I built my business with my kit. That is it. That is it. That first desk in that post that I put up this morning, guys, if anyone's commenting, I can't see. I'll, I'll have a look after. Um, that first desk that Dan bought me was five pound on eBay, right? And around the edges, it's an Ikea desk. Loads of people have probably got them. And around the edge, like all the... Um, like the laminate stuff that's on the top of it. All the laminate was coming off the sides. And we had a small conservatory on our old house. And when I got back from my first incentive trip, Dan had bought me this five pound desk on eBay. And I was so excited. And I, cause I, you know, before that I'd work in my kitchen or I'd work on my lounge floor or I'd work wherever, you know? When I started my business, I, I worked with my kit and that was it. You don't need, all the fluff. You, I didn't have. I didn't have a laptop. I didn't have a printer. I didn't have anything. But what I had was passion and excitement and my kit, which is what every single person in this group and that starts this business has access to. Every single person can build a sensory business with their kit. Those little whiff pots that are in your kit. That is what is going to build your business. You being passionate and excited and telling people about your business is what is going to build your business. If you I hear people say all the time, oh, I can't do this because I haven't got all this to show at a party. Or I can't do this because I haven't got this. I can't do this because I haven't got this. You can do whatever you decide to do. You and only you are in control of that. And oh, what's that? What's that saying? Oh, if you, it's something like if you are determined, no one can stop you. And if you, I can't remember, I'll find it. But it's like if you are determined, no one can stop you. If you want to make, it's something about making excuses, like no one can help you. And it's so true. If you want to make this business a success, you will make it a success because you will prioritize it and you need to work with what you have and start with where you are. Okay. And you can absolutely build whatever you want it to be with your Sensi kit. That is it. And networking and building connections and getting the whiff pots under people's noses and sharing your website link and telling people about it and following up with people and all the things that we train. It's so important coming 
I don't even want to say coming out the post-COVID pandemic time because we're well past that now. Like, I am so excited for where we are in the business right now because we are teaching now people that come into the business well, and, and people that are in the business. We're reteaching the fundamentals of what will grow your sense of business. And the fundamentals of what will grow your sense of business is networking and using your kit. And that's it. The rest will follow. You don't need all the fluff. You don't need all the fancy stuff. You don't need an office. You don't need... A million hours a day I didn't have any of those things when I started and if I'm honest now and I've said this a million times having time freedom you have to I have to be more disciplined now to be um, intentional that's the word I was looking for because it'd be so easy to think oh actually I'll just go do this I'll just go do this and then actually before I know it I haven't done anything uh, for my business I mean Whereas when I was working, when I was teaching, when I was waitressing, when I was working as a midday assistant in my kids' school, which are the, all the three things I was doing when I started, I had to be intentional. I was doing two, three, four parties a week that obviously then I would get up, I would go teach a class. Ella and Harry were obviously in school full time then. I would teach a class, I would come home, I would have a shower, I would sort out an order, I would walk the dog, I would then you know, might have been going to work that evening or be getting ready for a party. I worked in my pockets of time, just like every single person can work in their pockets of time. Some people's pockets of time might be in the morning. Some people's pockets of time might be in the evening. Some people's pockets of time might be in the middle of the day. This is not a nine to five office job. You work sensi into your life and when it fits with you. And I'm not saying don't ever watch Netflix. I'm not saying don't ever take some downtime and go to the cinema with your family because they're really important things to do as well but if you want to grow a business and you're watching Netflix for four hours a night your business isn't going to grow if you're working as well so it's all about priorities and it's all about starting with where you are and working with what you've got and realizing that actually that is all you need that is all you need the rest will come the rest is lovely but that is not what will build your business. Building connections, being passionate, sharing these products, getting those whiff pots under people's noses, that is what will build your business. Right, guys, I'm going to go home because I do actually have some work to do. Um, but have a wonderful, wonderful day. We've got so many amazing products in the Monday deals this week. But also don't forget about the catalogue. I've just sold a standard buy five, get one free, six pack of wax to somebody. Well, it was last night, but she came back to me this morning. Um, so still share the catalogue. We have amazing Monday deals. Um, but start with where you are, work with what you have. Right, have a wonderful day and I will speak to you soon.